Okay, let's continue with this case. So now we're going to use PataView to post process the data, S the output. So just launch our PataView, and I would like to to remind you, you know in the folder where where you have the solution or where you were saving, you have these files. Okay, in these files we were just doing the automatic uh, automatic output okay so also in the website uh you can download this file where you have some you have more information one second so let's use this file but pretty much we have the same data okay uh so in my case i have everything okay so you extract the folder you will have the folder inside and inside you have this file so let's go here and let's open that file with with part of you. So I, I uh, just like to remind you that in you can also open the, the, the case files in part of you. Uh, you will need to save the original extension without the dot the dot h5 okay the original one but the post processing is a little bit more trickier and these files are, are very efficient I'll, i really like this format okay so let's open those files so you go here look for your file okay so i put my files here and what you need to open set it here all files and look for the one with extension and cas okay and here it will ask you what is that format or it's not automatically recognizing the, the, the format. So you go here and cite reader. Okay. And now we read the file. So see that you press apply and we're late reading the file. Okay. So you have your standard part of you and here you can access all the fields. Okay. So if you select the check mark, select or deselect you will enable you will access the file so these are your solutions the dots means that it's no center if you see a box there it will mean that it's box centered so see that we have pressure q criterion velocity this is the vector and then the components okay each one separated and then let me change the background color i prefer to have it white okay here you have the time control. So see that I save 20 time steps. So from time 30 to 31. So this was a simulation that run a while. So we have a good, uh, a good solution and see that we access the time here. So here you time controls, go back to the first band, advance and play. Okay. So let me stop here. So this is that we're accessing the fields. Okay, but I want to access a specific patch. Okay, to do that one, you have here filters. You go alphabetical, extract block, this one. And this one will let you choose in a specific section or region of your, your mesh, and then you can visualize or apply more filters in that section. So let me select the fluid, which, which correspond to the whole domain. By the way, these names are coming for fluid, exactly the same names that you see in fluid, you, you will have it here. So the fluid here, you see the eyeball. I don't want to see that region. Then I want to, from this one that I have everything, I want to extract another one, extract block, and I want just to have the square. Okay, you have the square there. And then there you can plot whatever you want. Okay, so I will leave their pressure. I forgot to save Y plus, it will have been a good idea. But it doesn't matter, but you can compute it as well. You know, new, you can put your derivative. Uh, so let's put a, a color there, a uniform color. So for instance, this block, see that we have the whole domain. If I want to get the Q criterion, I will apply here a contour of what? Q criterion, choose your value, 100, apply, and you have it there. So now it's colored by the Q criterion, you want to use a different color, solid color, and then you can change the color here. Okay, whoops, move it there. And as you press play, you have your animation, okay? 
So this was the Q criterion. So for instance, stop. So I want now a cut plane. Always I want it in, in, the, in the volume. So you have the option here, a slice, and you can choose the direction. Uh, we want it normal to Z here. Do not show the plane. And then you can choose whatever you want to see there. So you, you have the velocity with all the components there, or you can use a specific one there. So let me hide that one. No, I want to hide contour. And see that now you have that one there. And okay, this one, I can change the color. Uh, put it green. Okay. And if we press play, you have there your solution. This end you have all the filters also. We, we already did it for the case for for the budget. So you can do sampling in a point in a line. Okay, you have all the actions. So this kind of post-processing is very tricky to do with influence. So part of you we can use it. And it's very, very, very easy to use. Uh, for instance, what else can I add? So you have a string lines, you have many, many, many options there that you can play. So let's use just the, the basic one. So we have cut planes, we have contours, and pretty much I have to say that that's all. So let me do, so for instance, we have here some, uh, some on a steady solution, so we can compute the statistics of that field. So let me go and let's say that I want to compute a statistics in this one. If I go to filters, alphabetical, see here that you have many filters, so you can play with all of them. So, but I would like to use temporal statistics. This is just telling you that this might be time consuming. Okay. So you can choose, I want to compute just the average. Okay, you have all minimum, maximum, standard deviation. So it will take every single time step that you have and it will compute your average value. Or probably the standard deviation to get also the R and S from that value, the fluctuation. So remember, it will be minus this one, the R and S. So standard deviation minus uh, the mean value. And here you have the new quantity. See that you have the average and standard deviation. So your average pressure, which is not very nice. Let me see average velocity. Okay, there was a problem. Okay, yeah, I think we need to compute it in the original field. So we need to go here. Okay. And need to get that one here. So let me go recent, what's the press statistic. And I just want to get just the average. Let's, let's get for the moment. Okay, and I should have pressure average. Okay, now it's better. Okay, yes, you should have it in the original one. And then you want you can do the same operations with the previously struct plot or put cut plane. So let me add a cut plane there. And voila, this one corresponds to my average pressure. And then you have also your average velocity. Okay. And if you want to see this one, you will have the instantaneous one. Okay. So it's very complete part, uh, part, part of you. Okay. You have many actions. I, I won't go in all of them. Okay. So I just will show you the most important one. So here you have glyph, which is vector. I don't know why they call it glyph. You can put vectors there. And you have many options to plot vectors. Okay, so we need to scale that. Okay, so you have the vectors and I want to no scale array. Okay, it should be the right one. Um, put zero one. You see it there, and I don't want to use, okay, that is the orientation we need it, but I don't want to color the vector, so solid color. Okay, and see that you have the vectors there following your flow. And then you can, okay, you are not showing all the vectors, also sometimes it can be uh, too much. So by default, you see here, it's showing you just 5,000. So as you go here, 
all points it will show all your vectors okay so if you have millions and millions of cells that will be heavy to visualize that okay so that was vectors you hide there what else in Texas so we have vectors uh, isosurface for the Q criterion cut planes and um, also we can use this one so for instance let me show you this uh, this for instance we can save also the L0 RL fields and we can filter here uh, so basically you apply this one a threshold and you say that I want just to visualize for instance pressure I want to see just negative values of, of pressure so you go here put zero and it will show you only the negative value okay so this is just equivalent to the one that we have been using with influent that's not to show some values so if you say rl here you you you, you can choose what to visualize uh, let me put minus mm, no so minus 100 okay so you see low pressure regions corresponds to, to vortex, vortices. Uh, I show, and for instance, the other one that I can show you to do, it is a strings lines, okay? So usually this is, here you have it. So there are many ways to use string lines. So usually it will release from, from this line there. You see the line there? So you will need to move that line so you have the coordinate here so let me go and put nx minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 okay and then y will be 0 0 oh yeah Okay, so you have that line there and I want to release there. So velocity, okay, apply. And I don't see the lines, okay. Okay, I need to release compute participity. Dun, dun. Ay, ay, ay. Where do I have? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need also to apply in the in the right right block. So that one you need to apply in the whole domain. So this one I sh I apply it there, which is not the right one. So you can uh, apply, for instance, this one. That yes. So let me apply string lines there that you have all the volume information and um, give the location so let me say that it goes from minus 0 0.1 0, 0 0.1 so let me hide there so so, so that you have the line there apply so it's releasing the string lines and you have it there okay so also always be careful in the in where you are applying your filter so here you will have all your operations and you, you will need to apply the filters in the right one okay and this is again will be on a steady so if i press play for each time say so will compute so can be really heavy so let me pause and let me change the number of string lines that we are releasing so you have many options there for the integration and i want just to release let's say 100 lines okay this will be much faster Again, you can also change the style. So if you go into filters, you will have many options. So alphabetical, you have like tubes. Okay, let me show you, you can put tubes there. Okay, you can constrain those lines to the surface, the same with vectors. So it will be a little bit, a lot of styling now you can do at this point there. 
so just to show you again the okay already the the statistic remember that also we have the calculator okay so if we go back to statistics and if i compute the standard deviation okay and, and let me apply here a calculator point data i will call it rms so that will be uh, uh, you have the velocity let me see so standard velocity okay standard deviation no velocity mag magnitude minus the average velocity magnitude okay we have it there and this will be the fluctuations okay so you can apply another filter to so over filters and and so on uh you can do the sampling okay you have uh, let me show you the uh, animation well we have q return there and will be the surface will be this one okay uh, for instance you go filters alphabetical and you have here add annotation time somewhere okay annotate and filter and it will add the times you want to have time Okay, so you, to save the animation, you go here, save animation, straightforward, save a location, choose a format. So if you want a AVI, call it move, and choose a resolution, whatever. We'll, we'll use the full values. This will be a warning, okay. So if I go here, I should have my movie here. Probably it should increase now the, the play velocity, but this is it. Okay. And I think this was a crash introduction into part of you. So uh, to part of you to oh, to fluent. So my advice save the format. You can do the pretty much the same using fluent forward or the old tech plot or CGNS, but I found that inside my advice using inside is very fast, it's lighter than the other formats. Okay. So use that save with the given frequency that we did it. As soon as you have your given frequency, you will get all that data and then you can open it here and do your post-processing exactly the same post-processing that we have done so far within uh, fluent you can do it exactly here okay so you just need to save the data or using just primitive data you can compute your data here so for instance as you get a, a set here this one for instance filters they go into filters alphabetical gradient so you can compute gradients here and there is a very interesting gradient here is that you use velocity See here that you have Q criterion. If I plug the, uh, this one here, I can compute also the Q criterion inside uh, inside part of you. No? I suspect the Q criterion only depends on the velocity gradient. So if you have that information, you, you can easily compute that. So if so go here, I use the surfaces of what Q criterion is the name that is given there. I will put 100, apply. And this is part of your Q criterion. So let me do here, you click here, you will split the windows in two render view. You have another view there. Let me change also the background. I hate that gray background. And let me visualize in this one, right one, it is fluent Q criterion, okay? And in this one, it is part of your Q criterion. So if I right click here, link camera to this one, and they are now linked, exactly. So there are some differences. Okay, probably in this one, I'm visualizing 100. 
and in this one I mean you can visualize on 100 okay there are some differences in the grading how they were computed but pretty much you, you can get it also inside here okay and again just for the all uh, all your primitive data you can get everything so for instance you want to compute here l0 and rl you will need k and epsilon okay that is coming from fruin so i think this is all for this tutorial and the next one we are going to move okay now the next one will show you grid refinement on the cases that we have and then we move to last okay bye thank you